America, around 140 out of 1,000 people are either full functionally deaf or at least hard of hearing. And that must be really hard, living with a hearing aid all your life or knowing that you have to learn sign language. You have to. It must be hard knowing that someone cannot hear what important things you have to say. Let's imagine that there was a world where there were no hearing aids for deaf people, no such thing as sign language in America, and imagine if there was no such thing as deaf education. This was how life was when America was first born in 1776. It wasn't until 1817 that Thomas Gallaudet created the first American school for the deaf in 1817. Before I tell you how he did that, when there was no such thing as American Sign Language, I want to tell you what makes his story really special. Galdet has finished schooling in Yale in hopes of becoming a priest, like his family wanted him to. However, he put that all aside when he met his next door neighbor, Alice Cogswell. She just had a dream to learn, to make friends, and to have fun. In Communicating with her people, she was like any normal child, just like you and me. Except the only issue was that she had no ability to hear. Because of this, she had no friends. She wasn't able to communicate with people, and she wasn't able to learn. How does that make you feel? Instead of feeling sorry for Cogsville, Gallaudet took it upon himself to find a way to learn. To make sure that Gallaudet found a new way for Alice to communicate. Unfortunately, Gallaudet was running into problems. Back then, deaf people were considered weird. Now, imagine that because you're different, that people think you can't do anything. Because they think there's something really wrong with you, that you can't do anything, you can't have fun with the kids. You can't even communicate with them. It would make me feel really bad and feel like I'm just worthless. A waste of space. Now, fortunately, Gallaudet did not give up on Alice, and he kept looking. He failed many times, but he kept on looking for a way to communicate. Eventually, after countless failures, Gallaudet finally found out a new way to communicate with deaf people in France. After starting the America School for the Deaf, which Alice was the seventh to attend, he became an inspiration for his community. When his son, later on, named a university after him called Gallaudet University. All because of one girl. Gallaudet was the spark that he needed to help all the Americans in need. Because of you, wanting to love and be yourself, you inspire people like Gallaudet to keep persevering through hard times, just like he did. Even when there is a cap on one of your abilities, you can still go out and create new and improved capabilities. Thank you.